Making this album has actually been a real dream. It's, it's so lovely. Um, the orchestra play beautifully. Nick is fantastic to work with. He's, he's right on it and so, so easy. And, and it, he understands all of these songs beautifully and, and is a very natural collaborator musically. Amy has a beautiful way of encapsulating the soprano or tenor or baritone, whatever it is, voice in the saxophone. And actually that's very hard to achieve because she doesn't have text, she doesn't have words, which the singer has. And that's one of Finzi's best attributes, his setting of text and his songs are well known and very, very beautiful. And she manages to colour the, the notes and the text and she knows all the, the words of, of every song very well. So she's able to play each phrase very beautifully. And, and within an octave, or a small range of what a singer can achieve, she's got a really wide palette of colours and a variety of, of sounds. The sound of the orchestra it has, has been absolutely exquisite. They've got this beautiful warmth. I think they know each other very well and, and it, it's just the sound has just been so lovely. I've just been kind of enjoying every second of it. This is music of a, another period in our history. It's certainly music of the 20th century, but in its own way, it's very different from his contemporaries. There's, there's something, it's hard to put your finger on exactly what it is, which turns unusual harmonic corners, takes the listener and the player into new areas where you don't expect it. And he can create little colors and atmospheres out of very little material. It's very beautiful very touching music. I've worked with both Tom Gould and Tom Poster numerous times and it's lovely to be able to put two sort of small concerto pieces onto this disc with um, the introit for violin and the eclogue for piano. They're both very beautiful works and it's lovely to play them with two people who do just such a beautiful job on, with this music. When I think of Finzi's music, I, I think that he is the perfect English gentleman and he's, he has, his music has an understated yet passionate quality to it. There's something in it which I suppose is, is sadder somehow underneath and I think that's what, what draws me to it. It's been fun, not work <laughs> at all. <laughs>